<clears throat> okay, this is for my good buddy Paul Carr down in Australia. This is the inside of the train shop. See, all these cars are gone. Still got all the workbench. All the stuff is still here. You can still run the trains out. Still got a few cars and engines. Lots and lots of piles of stuff. And you can go out the door, but I got stuff blocking it. Still got my girls. Love those big engines. <laughs> I know I missed my ABA. God, I wish I didn't sell my ABA. So anyway, that's my parents' stuff there. So we go outside here. And the steps are still here for the railroad. They're still, uh, I don't know what's in this. I think there's a coal train and a stack train. Yeah, there's a few things still in there to run. But anyway, visitors can come. Let's see, I got a, there's a few kinks in the track. We can still load trains here. And remember, I redid all the concrete roadbed. So it's all double track roadbed. I just got to tweak it, ballast it. I had my son level the whole entire area to make it easier to mow here. That tunnel, uh, Elsa keeps breaking the bricks down, trying to get in there for some reason. Double main line still in here. Here's this storage platform. Of course, all these trains are sold. And I got a little bit of trash here to pick up. And there is... I need to paint that door, too. That ah, Elsa broke another piece of track. She chases rabbits around here, and it messes things up. Let's see, it's just basically two big loops going around. This tree's gotten really big. It was a little tiny thing when we moved here. It only had two branches at the time. And see, all this road bed's been redone. That's the original station platform. Uh, I just got to add ties and, and ballast it. So this poor building here, I keep wanting to bring it in. It's my favorite building. I just haven't rebuilt it. Winds and storms have kind of beat it up. And uh, I got a section here. It looks like it also ran across and chases after. She uses them for takeoff posts or takeoff things. And see, there's the old miner's wheel. That has all new roadbed, too. Uh, let's see here. Now, this bridge is a lift-out bridge now. I got rid of the fancy one so that I can take and, uh, you know, just set it in place and run the mower through there. So, right else, silly girl. And so along here, see I just need to build the, the roadbed up on the side or the ballast or whatever you call this stuff. On around, the bridge is still here. This tree is growing so it'll shade. I've always wanted a tree to shade some of that. This is the transfer table here where the cars back up into and unload the one inch trains. Right along here is where we're going to have the, the bay for parking diesels and steam engines for one inch. And up there is the, yeah, climb up there, kid. Up there is the south curve. It's got a real good roadbed. I just got to build up rock around the side like Dave told me to do. And then see, it goes on back across the bridge. And so, see, there's the one inch. That's where the grain elevator used to be right there at Summit. And so, but uh, that's about, see, I told you, there's a lot of work to get this back up and going again, but the whole thing is the ballast and just nonstop maintenance. Yeah, this railroad definitely outgrew me real bad. And so, 
But the one inch is taking over too. And so I'm hoping to get this thing going next week or within the next week or so. I got all the hydraulics. The shooting range for the boys. It's a week 50 and 100 yard shooting range and stuff. So anyway, take care.